sixth grade, module one, lesson 22 classwork. So example one was something that needed to be done in class because it involved measuring someone's distance or measuring out a distance and then timing someone. So those questions can only have been answered in class based on your time and experiment. So I'll skip down to number two. It says part one, Chris Johnson ran the 40 yard dash in four and 24 hundredth seconds. What is the rate of speed? Round any answer to the nearest hundredth. So the whole point of this lesson is to understand that the equation that distance is equal to rate times time. And that's something that you're going to hear all throughout, even the re all through high school, maybe even into college. Distance equals rate times time. It's a very important formula just to remember. So we have a distance. Our distance is 40 yards. So we know that 40 yards is equal to the rate times time. So what we do know is we know that time is 4 and 2400 seconds. We don't know the rate. So it's equal to something times 4 and 2400 seconds. Now, what we need to do is divide because we can't just multiply because we don't know what to multiply. So in working backwards, we're going to divide and do 40. So the rate is equal to 40 divided by 4 and 24 hundredths, or the rate is equal to the distance over time, distance divided by time. So let's go ahead and do that 40 divided by 4 and 24 hundredths. So to do this, we need to move our decimal point and make this a whole number. So it's going to turn into 424, and then I need to put my decimal point here, move it over two places, and bring it straight up. So that's a throwback from fifth grade. Remember, all this stuff builds on each other. So back to dividing decimals. Now we're dividing decimals and then applying it to real life situations. So now let's divide. So it's 424 or 4,000 divided by 424. So 424 can't go into 4, can't go into 40, can't go into 400, but it could go into 4,000. Let's see, maybe probably close to like nine, eight or nine, because 400 times 10, 424 times 10 would be 400 or 4,240. So let's try 424 times eight. Four times eight is 32, carry the three. Eight times two is 16 plus three is 19, carry the one. And eight times four is 32 plus one is 30. Three. So maybe it could go in nine times. Let's add 424. Let's see what nine times would be. Yep, so it can go in nine times. So let's subtract 3,816. Gonna need to do a lot of borrowing here. So we get 184, and I'm going to add a zero and bring that down. So how many times can 424 go into 1,840? That's, prob that's about half of 3,816, so I'm going to try four or five times. Let's try four. One thousand six hundred ninety six. Yep, if I add in another one, it'd be too big. So four times four times four hundred twenty four was one thousand six hundred ninety six. Now we have nine and four tenths here. It says round any answer to the nearest hundredth. So I'm going to the hundredths place. I've gotten to the tenths place. So 
I need to get to the hundredths place, which is one more spot. Thirteen minus nine is four. Seven minus six is one. So we have 144. I'm going to bring down another zero. How many times can 424 go into 1440? I'm going to say probably three times. So here was times four. It was 1696. So let's do 424 times three. Four times three is 12. So 1,272. So it went in three times. Thirteen minus seven is six. Three minus two is one. So we have 168. And since it says round to the nearest hundredth, we actually need to go to the thousandths place so that we can see if that three is going to stay there or round up, which shouldn't be that hard because this says 1,680. And we already have 1,696, which is too big. So we know it can only go in three times. So we get 9 and 433 thousandths, which if rounded to the nearest hundred, the place would be 9 and 43 hundredths. So the rate would be 9 and 43 hundredths yards per second. Part two. In lesson 21, we covered units of measure uni we covered units of measure using unit rates. If the runner were able to run at a constant rate, how many yards would he run in an hour? This problem can be solved by breaking it down into two steps. Work with a partner and make a record of your calculations. How many yards would be run in one minute? So we know he runs nine and forty three hundredths yards per second. So we need to know in one minute. So one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So if he's running 9 and 43 hundredths yards in a second, what we need to do is do 9 and 43 hundredths yards per second times 60, there are 60 seconds in a minute and see what that is. Now what we can do is we get to cross out any units that are in both the numerator and the denominator. So those seconds cancel each other out and our answer is gonna be, the unit is gonna be yards per minute because that's what we have left, yards per minute. So what we need to do is do 60 times nine and 43 hundredths. Zero times three is zero. We're gonna get three zeros there. Put our placeholder down. Six times three is 18, carry the one. Six times four is 24, plus one is 25. Six times nine is 54, plus two is 56. And then in our problem, we had two digits behind the decimal point, so we need to move it over two places. We get 565 and 80 hundredths. So our answer would be 565 and 80 hundredths yards per minute. How many yards would be run in one hour? So now we're gonna take what we know, how many yards are run in a minute. So we have 565 yards per minute. And then we know that there are, there are 60 minutes in one hour, so let's multiply it by 60 minutes in an hour. And then we can, again, we have minutes in the numerator and the denominator, so those cancel ours out. So we're going to get, oops, I forgot the 80 hundredths here. So let's multiply those. We have 560. Times, actually, I'm going to get rid of this zero because we don't need it. 
times 60. Okay, eight, six times eight is 48, carry the four. Six times five is 30, plus four is 34. Six times six is 36, plus three is 39. And six times five is 30, plus three is 33. And we need to put our decimal point. We have one digit behind the decimal point, so it's going to end up right there. We don't need to add them because it's just a bunch of zeros. So since it's a zero behind the decimal point here, we can get rid of it, and we have 33,948. yards per hour. It says, the next part, we completed that problem in two separate steps, but it is possible to complete that same problem in one step. We can multiply the yards per second by the seconds per minute, then the minutes per hour. So what we could have done is done nine back here to what 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 we first had, nine and 43 hundredths, nine and 43 hundredths yards per second times 60 seconds per minute times 60 minutes per hour, and then gotten our answer at the end, which was 33,948 yards in one hour. So instead of doing it in two steps, we could have just multiplied all three of those together and gotten the answer. So then cross out any units that are in both the numerator and denominator because they cancel each other out. So that was another thing that we did. So there were seconds and minutes, which is why it turned into yards in an hour because that is what was left after we canceled them out. Part three, how many miles did the runner travel in that hour? Round your response to the nearest 10th. So we know that he traveled 33,948 yards in one hour. So let's start with 33,948 yards an hour times, if we want to know how many miles he traveled. So how many yards are in a mile? We want one mile. is equal to 1,760 yards. So we can figure out how far he traveled by multiplying those together. So what we'll have, we can put that over one, is, and we these cancel each other out, yards and yards. So we're gonna have 33,948 over 1,760 miles per hour. And we just need to divide. So 33,948. Really, this is the hardest part, just these big division problems that take a lot of patience. So 1,760, can't go in 3, can't go in 33, can't go in 339, it could go in 3,394. Um, it might be able to go in twice, let's see. Three thousand five hundred twenty. nope, so it can only go in once. So let's subtract put an extra zero in there. Thirteen minus seven is six, two minus one is one. All right, bring down the eight. How many times can 1,760 go in 16,348? Well, 
let's try 9 because I know 1,760 times 10 would be 17,060, which is pretty close to 16,348. So let's try 9. Nine times six is 54. Nine times seven is 63, plus five is 68. Nine times one is nine, plus six is 15. Okay, so it can go in nine times. And it's equal to 15,840. Important to remember, it says to round it to the nearest tenth. So we've gotta keep going, even though we have 19. And I'm going to bring my decimal point up, but we're going to the tenths place. Really the hundredths place because we need to round it. So let me subtract. We get 508, and I'll bring down a zero. How many times can 1,760 go into 5,080? Let's try three. Because I know 2 is 3,520. That's right there. Five thousand two hundred eighty. so just a little too big. But I have already done this problem. This is why it's important not to erase your work, because it can be useful later on. there that should be a four okay and then one last time I'm gonna bring down a zero 15,600 so I already know that 1760 times 9 is 15,840 so my or I know it can go in eight times I just need to figure out what that is Eight times seven is 56, plus four is 60. Eight times one is eight, plus six is 14. So it can go in eight times. And I don't need to subtract because this is what I'm looking for. And I just need to round 19 and 28 hundredths to the nearest tenth place. This is why it's important that I didn't just leave it at 19 and two tenths that I figured out that the hundredths place was an eight because this means I'm going to round it up to 19 and 3 tenths. So, nine, so we get 19 and 3 tenths miles per hour. And then cross out any units that are in both numerator and denominator. We already did that. Exercises, road trip. Exercise one, I drove my car in cruise control at 65 miles per hour for three hours without stopping. How far did I go? So distance equals rate times time. This is where you have to look carefully because just because it says 65 miles doesn't necessarily mean that's the distance. Because it actually says miles per hour, so that's the rate. So the rate is 65 miles per hour for three hours without stopping. How far did I go? So we just need to do 65 times 3. And we get 195 miles. Cross out any units that are in the numerator and denominator. So hours cross out, which is why we were just left with miles. So the distance is equal to 195 miles. Exercise two. On the road trip, the speed limit changed to 50 miles per hour in a construction zone. Traffic moved along at a constant rate, 50 miles per hour, and it took me 15 minutes, 25 hundredths of an hour, to get through the zone. What was the distance of the construction zone? Brown your response to the nearest hundredth of a mile. So the distance, the rate, the distance we don't know, but we know the rate was 50 miles per hour for 15 minutes or 25 hundredths. So, what we need to do is we can cross out the hours 
and we know that our answer is going to be in miles. So let's do 50 times 25 hundredths. So we get 25 times 25 add it together and then we have two digits behind our decimal point so our decimal point is going to go two digits to the left and we get 12 and 50 hundredths or 12 and 5 tenths miles was how long the construction zone lasted.